Welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Milani recently learned a new Zulu word it's called Watini. Watini? Watini? Always trying to fight this one. Um, whew, guys, my weekend vlog. Okay, let me take this one to school. Let me go to gym and then I'll come and tell you guys about my weekend vlog and why I'm doing this video. I know they're sleeping. She's on, she's on school term break. So let's take this one to school. Let's go to gym and we will talk. It's so cold outside. Got it. Hmm? Cold. Hmm? What's the matter? Hmm? A teeny. What teeny? Let's go.
guys i'm trying to do daily affirmations with milani we've got this new thing that we do with the girls in the morning i'm just like i tell i am beautiful i'm smart i'm kind milani this morning milani i'm beautiful no i'm smart no i'm kind no. she's just like no every affirmation i'm trying to give her she's saying no yes i can see you sitting properly guys literally i'm trying to affirm this girl say it with me milani i'm beautiful no. i'm kind no. i'm smart no. i'm courageous no. she's saying no g g how am i supposed to be a gentle parent who's raising warriors when this little warrior here doesn't want to do our daily morning affirmations with me i'm beautiful i am kind I'm smart. I'm courageous. I'm gonna have a good day. Yeah, I love myself. I love myself. Yay! No! I'm on the can't nobody hold me down. I'm doing whatever now. Ain't got no time to fight. I'm talking way too loud. And if you don't like the sound, you could just tune it out. Who you rootin' for? They say whatever team that will win I say cool, cause it's gonna be whichever one I'm in Yeah, I'm good like that Yeah, I'm good like that Who you rootin' for? They say whatever team that will win I say cool, cause it's gonna be whichever one Shawty looking at me, she want me to slide for the flame, she want me to show some things, but right now I'm focused on me doing me, gotta watch step on the tightrope, I never fall off this light work, know it's people trying to see me down real bad, same ones trying to meet me where I'm at now, same ones trying to figure how I got here, I've been stepping my pot, been shaking my sauce, been writing these songs since 48 key drop, tell me when to go, how you think I'm finna stop, I be protecting my inner child, you could keep all of that dissonance, they be hating on me cause they see I'm gifted, it's all for the soil, you should 3D print it. I be doing me like I got a blink check I be decking shade for the love and respect Wanna touch stage, cross seas on me No drama, more flights next year's looking lit I'm laid up in somebody grass I'm burning the gas to my last breath Life is so fragile, enjoying the roses so high You can't see me, I'm seated She wanna beat me, I'm trying to do Fiji I live on the island alone I'm trying to be one with my aura Before I allow me a soul disappointed about my weekend vlog literally i tried to insert the memory card in my laptop to try to edit and it just said memory card not recognized me to format it for it to be recognized and i'm just like formatting means deleting everything and i was just like cancel you know cancel 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 then i put it back on the camera and the camera was just like automatically just formatted formatted it Ooh, formatted formatted it and lost everything and this weekend i was very intentional about shooting everything with my camera i actually shot everything from friday up until the the outro um, i shot everything on my camera and i lost everything on the same breath um 
I realized yesterday as I was trying to edit and I was trying to look at the footage on the camera is that my whole weekend vlog was shot um, via slow motion. Can you believe? Let me actually check if this is not slow motion. Okay, it's not shooting in slow motion. So uh, it, I could have obviously made a plan with some of the footages that are shot in slow motion. In editing, you can forward them, um, like make them like go in a higher speed. But in the clips where I'm talking, there's a clip where I was talking for 14 minutes. 14 minutes! I'll tell you guys what I was talking about though. I was just like, I could, there's nothing I can do when shooting in slow motion. I don't know, maybe there is something you can do, I just don't know. But I realized that shooting in slow motion, you can only fix it if it's action shots. Like if I'm cooking and it's shooting in slow motion, then it's fine. You can fix that in editing, but talking, it just wouldn't work. So the vlog wouldn't have made as much sense anyway. So it's being formatted and deleted. It was painful, but I was just like, Ugh, you know what, it's fine. It was not going to make sense anyway. So what I'm going to do is... Today is Monday. I woke up and I, I was just like, I need to devise a plan because my people are so used to seeing me and my little family on a Monday and I don't want to let you guys down. So I'm shooting this. I'm hoping to edit and upload it tonight. So I, it's going to be a spin the day, but I want to basically almost recreate my weekend. Um, all three days, I want to try and fix them in one day. It's going to be obviously a bit longer, but I know that you guys don't mind. <laughs> Uh, but okay, just to recap my weekend on Friday, I really didn't do anything. Um, on Milani's phone, Milani's phone fell, and I wanted to go fix it. And then they told me it was going to be. Let me show you what it looks like. It doesn't even seem like it's, it shows off now. Maybe the battery is dead. Uh, maybe the battery is dead. But um, her phone fell, and the screen just got messed up. And then I went to go check out how much it was going to be to fix it. They were like 850 i was just like yo unfortunately it's literally the weekend before i get paid and 850 is a lot of money so i was just like it's fine um maybe it's also time to just wean her off but the thing is with milani's phone it helps me more than anything so on days where i really just don't feel like being a present parent i just give her a phone and i'm boy on my phone maybe for like an hour or two and we both just like she's on youtube i'm on tiktok and whatever but then i was just like let me see if i can actually wean her off because i don't like the amount of screen time she spends she, she spends um, and it worked out actually. It's Monday today. She wasn't that fussy. She she understands that her phone is broken and it's going to get fixed. And my mom was just like, "No, it's fine. Um, you'll fix it when you bring the kids to Durban." Also, I was supposed to go to Durban yesterday on Sunday, but then I was just like, "Oh, my mom gets too soon." My mom got paid on Friday the fifteenth, and then she's just like, uh, "Bring the kids. Where are my damn kids?" She sent me money. I was just like, "Calm down." That was Friday. Then of usual, fetch Milani, come home. Um, Alonde had Heritage Day at school. I'll put up a picture here. She looks so pretty um, in her Heritage Day things. And I was wondering why their Heritage Day is on the 15th and not this weekend at least. Because as far as I know, schools close on the 29th. Then Alonde was like, no, they're closed on the 15th. Um, and the other grades, grade 9 and grade 8 and 9 went to camp. Alonde's in grade 9, but she was, I didn't, this year I was just like, no, you're not. Too many things has happened. And we, we can't keep rewarding bad behavior. And I felt like her going to camp would be rewarding some bad behaviors that she's um, exhibited this year. So she didn't go to camp. Uh, then on Friday, when she comes back, she's just like, oh, we closed. So I was just like, I've planned in my head that I'm taking my kids home on the 27th, 28th of September. And I could have just taken them home. So when I told my mom, my mom was just like, here's money, come home. I was just like, thanks for the money, but I'm not coming home. Like, calm down, calm down. But um, I will be going home soon. Probably this weekend. We'll be we'll be going, we'll be heading home. My sister's going home on the twenty fifth of, of September. So it's going to be nice to have a full family house, like my dad, my my sister, my mom, and my children. Like it's going to I can't wait. It's going to be nice. Anyway, um, that was Friday. Saturday, um, Unati and I went out to Mozambique restaurant. I'm not sure when her weekend vlog. Basically, I spent my entire weekend with Unati. Um, so when she uploads her weekend vlog, I will reshare it. Let's see if she has too early. I know that girl hasn't uploaded her. It's too early. It's too early for her to upload. But let's see. As soon as Onati uploads hers, I will share it so that you guys can also just see. Yeah, she hasn't uploaded that hand. That hand. She hasn't uploaded. Let me search her name. Maybe it's just my recommended page is just not popping up. Yeah, of course. 
she hasn't she hasn't uploaded but i basically spent the entire weekend with Unati. in the morning we went to we took the kids out to mozambique uh, i went to the opening of mozambique a couple of weeks ago then they gave us a voucher so i was just like oh not nice let's just go um take the kids there so we went and then afterwards tato was just like oh she wants to join us at the restaurant but when you are with toddlers you do not stay in one place for long and also mozambique is not child friendly so we had to go so tato then joined us at unati's house all that footage gone we had such a lovely time but you will see it on unati's um vlog then we got too drunk to we were supposed to just chill with tato then come back on saturday evening got too drunk and i was like nah I'm not risking it so we slept over at umati's house so yesterday we spent the entire day there and what happened was um umati uh, and her sister and uputusbu her sister's husband went to church and they were like they're taking the kids to church including milani and i was like okay cool what am i gonna stay behind and do because i'm not going to church so they took the emirates to church and i was just like let me actually just cook i grew up in a home where if you don't go to church you can cook <coughs> you gonna cook so that when the people come back from church they have food it's just the con most considerate thing to do so my grandmother is a sangoma so she obviously doesn't go to church so i just stay with my grandmother like i was just like i'm gonna stay with you but that meant you know doing chores so i was just like let me put that in practice so i made them play hardy luckily that was taking on your phone so i'm gonna insert the clip you guys gonna watch that i just want to relive the weekend with you guys since you didn't see so i'm going to insert the clip here and be happy
Sunday family lunch with my chosen family and that was nice it was actually really nice and then after that we just chilled and we came home uh, and then on my way home I got triggered a bit because I passed by the garage a total garage and to pour petrol and Umilani um, there was a lot of men there and she was just like Amanda look it's daddy's and I got triggered Milani is obviously I don't think that she understands you know daddy or whatever to her when she sees a woman she says it's mommy when she sees a man it's uncle or daddy i don't know why how she differentiates who is who when she sees a small girl she says it's sister when she sees a small boy she says it's brother so obviously in her head she's just learning these things but when she says now and then she'll say look it's a dad it's daddy and i get triggered to hell and back and his honor was one of those where i was just like god god like it's getting there and i think because i have a teenager who's gone through it i've got a teenager where i've had to explain to her where this person is what's happening because a lot of the times um society our parents and everyone around us give us false hope that these men are going to come around and they want to come back and you're going to parent and but from my experience they don't i know they're turning 15 next week and this man is nowhere to be found and obviously he's never going to come back if he does it's up to her if she accepts it or not so Oh, is it coming to clean the yard? Is it okay, guys? Um, oh, sorry, guys. I'm okay, I just it in my house. Well, not my house, but my yard. Um, so I know that she's not coming. I know I know this that 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 ship sailed. With Milani, there is a little bit of hope, but mm, you might she might not come back because in the three years that Milani has been alive. He has times where he's just like, I really want to, and I really want to, and I, I believe it. I, I see it in his eyes, and I believe it. I don't know. Um, I do know. I do know. He's got. He's a coward, and he lets the woman in his life influence him. And obviously, the woman in his life—that's his mother, his wife, and maybe his sisters. They do Obviously, they don't want Milani because she represents uh the not so picture perfect life that they want to present um not to put anything obviously on the wife and the mom it's up to him to want to to stand up to them so obviously them fighting him works on his behalf because clearly he's not he don't really doesn't want to parent but is on it i was just like yo deadbeats do not understand the amount of pain that they cause deadbeats and their enablers their families their wives all of those people you guys don't understand you don't understand that the pain that you're causing these kids not me and it's just so sad to watch Milani call, call random people daddy. And I'm just like, to know that you'll never have your own daddy, it's sad. Um, obviously, I'm not planning on being single for the rest of my life. I do plan on getting into a stable, committed relationship. And I do hope that God and my ancestors work together to bring at least someone that my children can see as a daddy. You know, I know there are some amazing stepdads out there. They do the absolute most for their children. You would swear they were their biological ones. And that's what I've been praying for, you know, like a good kind man who will play an amazing father figure role to my children because it's just so, so sad when you see a three-year-old crying out for daddy and daddy is just nowhere to be found. And not that because daddy's dead, He's alive and kicking. He just does not want to be here. And for me, it always boggles me, Guti. You are sitting in your home with your other children and your wife and your perfect little family. And you have another child in the west of Johannesburg. What goes into your head? And worse with my baby daddy, um, the wife and I, the, our children are the same age. My, my friends call them the ghetto twins. They literally were born, one was born on this Wednesday and the other one was born the following Wednesday. They are a week apart and they look exactly the same. They look like their father, which means they look exactly the same. One time, him, the father, when we were cool, he, he was showing me pictures of his son. And there was a time where I'm just like, Milani doesn't have these clothes. And then he's like, this is not Milani, it's, you know. That, that, it, that's when I realized how... These kids, I couldn't recognize. I, don't, I I saw my own child in 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 his son. That's how much these kids look alike. So when you are looking at this double, that this twin, and you know you have a child that looks exactly like this, a West. You know you have a child who's this age. When you are buying things for this one, because sometimes maybe when the kids are not the same age, maybe they don't think about them. Because for me, it just boggles me that you can be in a house and be okay with this little picture perfect family that you have when you know that you are addicted to someone else. But then I, I think about things like I was watching um a couple of years ago I watched in 
what is this show the red table talk and i can't remember who was there but basically it was a siblings who share a father and one sibling the father was a deadbeat too the other sibling the father was home in the house with them and the one who was in the house kept saying to the other one which he didn't miss anything he was a horrible person he was a horrible father so you he was bad it's just as bad to us and he as it would have been to you and that's the only thing for me that keeps me going guti for you to be a dead a deadbeat is not a good person. If you don't acknowledge other children that you have, but you're busy playing good, happy family here, you are not a good person. At your core, you're not a good person. You might act like you're a good person, you're a good dad, you are good, you do all of these things, but at your core, you're not a good man. And unfortunately, the people that will pay the price are the children. Whether it's the children that you choose to be in the home with or the children that you abandoned, those children will pay the price when they're older. To sit and listen to adults saying that he was a horrible father in the house, and to sit to listen to someone saying that you who didn't experience that father, you you didn't miss much. But unfortunately for the person who didn't experience that father, to them that means nothing. Yes, it's cons it's consoling, consoling, but I'm sure they would have wanted to experience the father. But the point I'm trying to make is, in the back of my head, I'm always just like, you're a horrible person, and it's a matter of time before it comes out. Um, it's sad that there'll be children who are collateral in all of this. But like dead beatism, dead beats, they're in and they enables. I'll always call out the enablers game that guys because yes, I know to no person can force another person to be a, a, a father. But nah, in my case, both my baby daddies are married and both their wives have told me that I was going to be a single mother. So I'll, you are an enabler now, so I will always call out dead beats wouldn't wouldn't thrive if the people around them call them out. So that's why for me when I call out dead beats, I'll call out their mothers because oh my babo, you boy mums. Never father my pity got in a better than a Nama shuba, never told no pet. Need dinner, I've been in a pot. Dead pits, mums, yo. Dead pits have the the mums of the dead pits. <laughs> and then the wives, yeah, of course, because I'm trying to protect my home. My home. Go shut the fuck up. You, you stayed with the cheater. You stayed with the cheater now. Deal with the consequences. Anyway, that's it for my my right. I was just triggered and I woke up so mad. Hey there, you guys, I'm coming back from spa now. I was at the gym, then I went to spa. My, my, my weekend plan was to come back on Saturday and then sleep at my house on Saturday. And then on Sunday, I wanted to make seven colors for my children. So seven colors or several colors? That. I wanted to make an elaborate meal for my children, but then we ended up making the meal at Nati's house, as you guys would have seen the previous clip. But the weather today says you can still make the meal. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make so I went to spa to go buy the things that I will need to make the meal. Let me defrost my meat. I've got some beef here that I'm going to defrost. I'm going to cook later. The plan was I wanted to make, um, what is this thing called? I wanted to make um, rice, stew, spinach, cream spinach, butternut, all of those things. But now I'm just like, mm, it don't bolo would be nice. Like it would be actually be nice to make it don't bolo. But the, 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 the process of kneading and mixing guys. <laughs> and then I remember the one time an old time to, um, told me about you can just buy the wine at spa. So I looked for it at the spa, they didn't have it, but I'm gonna go um, back to spa. I'm, oh, guys, children, oh, Alanda, tell me why on Friday, on the last day of school, she left her bag at school. Why would you leave your bag at school? Like, why? So now I'm going to put it in the bag at the next time. I don't know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. I need to fetch this bag because why did you leave it? So we're gonna, I'm going to see if I can take if I can take it there to go fetch that bag. Then I'm just going to go to Spa by Notando and get the, the dough so I can make it dumbbell. Um, and I've got the dumbbell and a beef stew. And then let me show you what I got at Spa. Just, just, just some snack marshmallows for Milani. I got spinach because I want to make it cream spinach. And I always add fatter to my cream spinach. Um, some tomatoes, not sure why I bought these, but needed them, I guess. Some eggs, because I want to eat some breakfast quickly. I got some fruits, this is just for me to snack on a bit later. Some mushrooms, always need mushrooms in this house. It's Milani's last week at school, and it's before I take them home, so I got these. These were the cheaper version. Guys, it's my para week. It's bad. It's bad. Got some cream for my spinach. Uh, some carrots and butternut. 
then I also just like got coke for control and some tissue um, for the house. So that's for the stuff that I've got at spa. So what I'm going to do now is I'm stuffing, but I want to wash first before eating. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go upstairs, tidy up my room, take a shower, and I will see you guys. Then it is time to make food. Gilambe, gilambe. But it's shower. It's shower. breakfast that I make all the time I'll show you guys a sick of it at this point I'm gonna make that quickly uh, and then I am going to work a bit so I'm gonna take a break from vlogging I'm going to work a bit and then I will see you guys when 
Oh, but I want, before we go, I want to show you, since I'm trying to really live this weekend, let me show you what we did for us also. Yes, I mentioned earlier that Omila obviously she doesn't have a phone, so now we need to actually be active in, in, in being creative with the things that we do in this house, especially to entertain her. So on Saturday she asked, not even she asked, oh god, um, I realized on Friday that she, she had taken, where's my book? I realized that on Friday she had gotten paint from Alwande's room and she took my little notebook and she just started scribbling. Um, this was just one of the pages. Where's the other one? She did blue and red, you know, in this book. And then I was just like, no man. Uh, earlier this year I did a campaign with Crazy Store and I know I bought a lot of like canvas and painting things for them. And then I was waiting for for, for summer to come so we can actually just sit outside and do it then i went and got it i got got one of the canvas things and i got her a couple of paints and then she painted this <laughs> i'm going to hang it somewhere i don't know if i should hang it this way or this way. i don't know which way makes more sense or is it this way yeah i think this way makes more sense what do you guys think but i don't know where let me just see here oh here there's a space here. Um, it's an option. It's an option. Or let me see, show you guys where else I'm thinking. I don't want to drill any more nails here in this house, but I wanted it somewhere visible. Um, I don't want to drill any more. This one doesn't make It's nice here. No? I would have wanted to put it here, but I like this painting here. I think that for now, okay, it's not gonna work here. I'm just gonna put it in the kitchen. So I'm going to hang this. Oh my gosh, my little Picasso. I'm gonna hang it here for now. It kind of works. It's just that I didn't want it to be in a place where it's hidden. I want when everyone comes in to see that I've got a Picasso. And then on the side, or maybe I should just, on the side we have this, we have the rules of this house. In this house, we do second chances, we do real, we do laughter, we do love, we do I'm sorry, we do hugs, we do family, we do mistakes, we do loud really well, we do creative, yay, there's the creative, and we do teamwork. So uh, for now, I'll, for now, I'm just going to leave it there. I don't want to drill more holes in this house, but maybe I just should because it's not like we're moving anyway, you guys. Um, I need to do like an update on what I decided to do when it comes to the moving situation. I'll do it on this vlog maybe a bit later, but what oh, it? let me hurry up and make some breakfast. Oh, yes. The reason why I want to say that is because... Um, Every Friday at school, they give us things that, that she did for the week. So it's just like paintings. I like this one. I actually really, really like this one. I need to maybe go to Pip to go buy frames. Um, because there's this one. This is cute. Um, and the one that I want to, this is whatever. The one that I want to frame, it's this. Because these are actually her hands. Um, I like these too. So I'm gonna go to Pip uh, when Alanda and I go get her bag at the school. I'll pass by Pip home and get like frames because at least Pip is cheap and get frames and then I'll frame these for her um, just you know to keep memories. Which means I mean if I'm framing things, I'm gonna need to drill more walls here, more put more nails in here. So let's make some breakfast while I'm done being a proud parent. I'm gonna make some breakfast quickly. I've got a meeting at ten. It is already 22, so I need to, luckily I don't have to switch my camera on. I can still continue in the meeting. Um, so I've got, to, I've got about 15 minutes to make breakfast because I prefer to sit and be within, instead of rushing. So let's make this breakfast quickly and I'll talk to you guys later.
always trying to pretend that I'm not living just a lie. Broken heart and shattered lives. Let me go for one day. Let me lose myself. Oh, I knew how this would end. dishes and hang some laundry. Amanda is very very sick so she's absolved from any of her responsibilities until she gets better so I'll be doing all of this. I get a call from the gate and I almost didn't answer but it's delivery for Amanda and uh, I'm not expecting anything and I'm just like okay come in this is from Clement. Is Clement in, in, in Cape Town? To marketing and communication so I was like, okay, I've got a little package. It's so, it feels like there's nothing inside. <laughs> it's like empty. I don't know what it is. I'm not, and I almost didn't open because I never really open. Because sometimes people take a chance. They be like, oh, the Uber Eats delivery or whatever, whatever. And I'm just like, I didn't order anything. Call the person that you need. You know, that's how people die. You know, like you just be pressing nine, opening the gate. And I'm just like, I'm not going to be responsible for letting anybody in. And so usually when I know that I'm not expecting anything, I don't even answer the gate. But something was just like, answer. And I, he's like, delivery for Amanda. I'm like, okay, you're obviously really here for me. So let's see. Yes, yeah, I have a right. What is this? Packaging is really cute, I guess, but like, it, there's nothing. What if it's a bomb? Oh, <laughs> this makes sense. <laughs> okay, makes sense. I'm part of a crazy store campaign, Christmas campaign. I know there's a Christmas one coming. More turkeys for Milani. Um. Crazy Store has asked me to be part of two campaigns that they're doing. One is for Christmas and one is for something. Can't remember. Okay, um, I need to figure out what the other campaign is for so that I can actually need to shoot all of this before the kids go. I asked Sandra. It's time of the year when the sun is shining and festivities are starting to kick in. Everyone's in good spirits and premiere celebrations from birthday. Blah, blah, blah. Crazy story has everything you to you need to host the best, 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 best party and dress up for theme celebration. Consider us one of our headband. Fuck yeah. We'd like to partner with you to shop 
dress up items as part of our promotion that kicks on the 21st. Okay. You need to create an Insta Reel on Instagram or a video on TikTok. You're welcome to use both platforms. Of course, you want me to use both platforms. Okay. Yes, this, this promotion runs from 21 September to 15 October. So I need to shoot this, this weekend. Luckily, the kids are still going to be here, so we're going to shoot. So dress up parties, theme, dress up themes. Does that mean I should create a dress up theme in this house? Anyway. I was wondering what it was, but I forgot that they were going to send the... So they usually send a voucher, then I just go to my crazy store here and use it. Shame, she's going through the absolute most, and I probably gave her whatever it is that I had, because she's feeling exactly how I was feeling last week. I tested for COVID last week, and they said I didn't have COVID, but they did say that there's an outbreak in swine flu, so I could... It could have been swine flu, and swine flu is contagious. So, um, fortunately, if it is contagious, I did pass it. If it is swine flu, I did pass it on to my baby. Luckily, she doesn't have to go to school. So, timing, I guess. But anyway, as mentioned, she's absorbed from all of her chores and responsibilities while she's sick. So, I'm going to wash the dishes quickly. I need to hang the clothes. Let me hang the clothes first, then wash the dishes, and I'll see you guys when we go get um, her bag. And also, then I'll pass by the spa to buy the dombolo the dombolo i guess flower what is it called i don't know what it's called in english um and then yeah let's let's do some tools supposed to have load shedding from 12 to 2 but they suspended it so the plan was to leave here when we have load shedding but we're still gonna leave anyway so I really just needs to get her what is this she needs to get her her bag at school 
um she's really really sexy and she hasn't eaten so i want to get her like soup as well um also want to go to pip and get some frames for the stuff that i wanted to frame as i'm in line let's go How do I know if it's is it done? Do I still need to like get it to rise? She's like, I don't know, get the if it is. With so much attitude. And I'm just like, can you call someone who can explain? And then this other lady is just like, yeah, I think it's done. I'm just like, how do you guys sell something? Like, do I still need to put it in a Okay, I'm calling no time to hopefully she answers because this is her thing. Okay, it's fine. She's probably busy, but like, is it done? Do I still need to put it in? Like, and make it all sit in the sun so it rises? Um, and then I also got some sparkling water. I'm just so confused at this point. And then I got a frame, guys. But I went to crazy store. I was just like, paper's a bit too far, and I need to come back and work and come back and do a lot of things. I've got a one frame. Like, our frame's always so expensive. It's almost 70 rands. How? Maybe like 20 rands. How cute! Knowing me, Lani, I must find somewhere to put it. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Probably in my room. Um, but knowing Milani, she's probably going to be like, take it off. Milani can be not a nice person at times. But anyway, um, my, my meat has defrosted. And I'm just going to, in the meantime, I'm just going to make this stew. I just, okay. I'm, I'm discombobulated right now because no time didn't answer my call and probably she's in a meeting but I just need to know if this thing is done like I wish we were doing this in real time so you guys can tell me is this thing done do I need to go put it in the sun so that it rises or can I just put it in the pot which is which somebody help okay but I know no time is going to respond immediately I'm kind of trying to think of someone else who uses this I don't know. Um, as soon as those are the response, I'm going to start cooking. Let me get back to work. Um, the plan is 20 past 1. The plan was to start cooking at 2 because I thought we had low shedding, but we don't. So before this memory card formats itself or whatever. So what I've been doing since we've been started vlogging this morning, immediately just transferring the footage to my laptop so that even if it formats itself now, it won't be a lot of footage that I would have lost. I can still vlog, but I just need to understand this memory card thing works what does it mean when it randomly you just need to format um why can't you know i have an option to first move the files before it formats how does this, how do people cameras do it? like i was so frustrated guys as well yo i was like my heart was my heart broke because a it's a lot of footage and contents that was in there and like i could like i could lose like uh, spend the day with me i could lose a morning routine evening routine a whole weekend vlog come on i was just my heart but let me see let me let me let me eat actually well i'm praying brian you pray brian okay we couldn't get soup for amanda and amanda she said she doesn't want 
Yesterday I made Brianna do Nati's house and I'm just gonna have a little bit because just in Jokba Bumoy until I figure out to store Salah. Let me eat and then I'll see you guys when we cook and then I will cut the vlog when I go fetch Milani. Um, you guys know our night routine. <laughs> you know it very well. So I'll cut the vlog when I go fetch Milani and then I will try to edit, not even try. So for me to be able to post this today, I will need to cut the vlog when I fetch Milani so that I have at least two to three hours to edit and upload it so that at least you guys have some sort of a vlog to watch today. I'm like, I'm just so heartbroken about my weekend vlog. But you know what? There's a reason. And also, speaking of, thank you, you guys. I posted last night, would see there won't be a weekend vlog. And there's so many of you who are just like, I will just go watch, rewatch your old um, vlogs, and we're just going to, yeah, just rewatch your old vlogs. You guys, something so small means so much to me because you rewatching those old vlogs, it create, it generates more revenue. So thank you for even thinking that. One person said it, and everyone was just like, yeah, let's do it, let's do it. Thank you. I wouldn't think of that. I would have been like. Hi, day. <laughs> see you when you when you're back. But thank you, you guys. Um, I don't want to get too emotional about my subscribers. But just thank you for being so considerate and thinking about things that far. Um, yeah, thank you. Let's eat. Um, and then I'll see you guys when I cook dinner for them babies. Cause of my own pain. Tando now and she says that this thing is just ready I just need to cook it cool so at least now we know that but guys I'm just chilling just eating and then I get a call your delivery we have a delivery for you can we come in five minutes I'm just like uh, yeah you can come but what is it uh, guys today is just I'm so glad I'm vlogging today because like what do you mean I think I know what it is. I got an email, random email from this lady asking to do a YouTube collaboration with me for those watches. But like, yeah, I think it is for your watch. You know those watch that connect to your phone and stuff? I think it is the watch. Ooh. And then I sent her my address and she never responded. So I just figured, well, I guess the collaboration is not happening. And I guess she was just like, yeah, ooh. It is the watch. It's a smart watch. Okay, so I can't open it um, because. Okay, why well, is not hard to see? I can't open it because I'm gonna have to do. It's a YouTube collaboration, so I'm gonna have to do another video that features this watch entirely i actually want to do that video in a way that i actually go to the gym i want to use this watch to, to its entire cap capabilities i think that's what i want to say so but this is cute guys it's so beautiful i remember i chose pink i'm such a girly girl kiss son i'm going to shoot this vlog on should i shoot on wednesday yeah, today's Monday. I'm gonna shoot this. Oh no, Wednesday, Tanu and I, not Tanu and I work together. Ah, but I still go to gym anyway. Okay, I'll shoot this on Wednesday. I'll do a spend the day with me on Wednesday. Or I'll do like a morning routine on Wednesday. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. I'll see. But I'm so glad. Like, it's just that that lady never responded. She was just like, she was like, send me your number and your address. And I sent her my number and address and she just kept quiet. So I figured, but I guess we're not working together anymore. But I guess we are. 
And anyway, okay, guys, I came down here. It is half past two. I came down here to start cooking. And where were we? I'm putting up under my my work laptop. Um, I came down to 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 cook, start cooking. The thing is, I've just eaten ne, the biryani, and now I'm just like, do I really want to cook? Do I really want to cook? But I've already told myself that I'm cooking, so I am going to cook. Let's cook, guys. I, I'm not. An, I, I, I wanna. I, According to you guys, I can cook, yeah? and according to me, I can cook, but I think I always say this, I can, I'm really good at like three or four meals. I'm not a really like a cook, but on the same breath, I'm someone who's always willing to try out recipes and learn. So I want to just make a beef stew with a dombolo, and I hope it works out. I've never really, I've hardly, I've never actually, don't think I've ever made stew. Um, I usually just cook briyanis and stuff. So I don't know even if less tunes or was now kids, but you know what? It's just me and my kids and we will eat. We will eat. Whether this comes right or wrong, we will eat. Um, but let's cook again. Let's figure it out. I hope. I know the side, the side salads and everything is going to come out right. It's just that the actual main meal. But let's cook and see. I will see you guys. Let's cook and I will see you guys. <laughs> Backwards, yeah And much your lover Who don't use big words, yeah I don't need convincing at all Because I know what I want Baby, can't you figure it out What's going on in your heart What's it gonna take for you to love Take for you to love me
no, it's for two. It's for two. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Okay, I remember my mom taught me that she like, like you stab it. It looks good, you guys. Problem is, let me show you. Can you see? It looks good to me. Problem is, I had to throw away like two because I forgot that this thing actually like gets bigger. <laughs> so when Alwanda and I opened the pot for the first time, it was like boo, and it was so huge. Um, but at least I know going forward. But hey, I haven't actually even tasted this the dough. Let me taste it before I, cause cause I was, I was about to say that this is the best creation ever. Okay, let's see. My mom would be so disappointed in me, guys. Every time I go to Durban, my mother teaches me how to cover. Which I go, don't boy. Mm. Wife me. Wife me today. Okay, I can switch the stuff off. It's so amazing. It's just so good. Oh, can't wait to eat. Can't wait to. I actually just got hungry now. What I'm gonna do now, you guys? Uh, all my my pots are done. Let me show you. Let me show you what this wife material did today. Okay, so we've got the main meal, which is the dombolo with the beef stew. Ooh, my camera. Then we have the cream spinach, cream spinach and feta. Ooh, it's so good also. Then we have Milani's fave corn. And some butter I have to say, I outdid myself. I'm so proud of myself. Actually, maybe when I go home, I really do need to be. No, I won't learn. Guys, every time I'm in Durban, my mom is always, Quinti Waganchi, Quinti Waganchi. And you're just like, Ugh, why would you do that to yourself? Why? <laughs> you just, uh, mm -mm. If you, a uh, Bogoto, and you need, need your, your, your dough yourself, Shout out, girl. Shout out. Nah. It convenience. I'll pay for convenience. And this. Shout out to Notanda for, sh for showing me this. Because I. I saw this at her house. The first time I saw this was at her house. I was just like, what are you doing? Like, what is that? And she was like, it's a, basically a cheat code. I was just like, girl. Where have you? Why didn't you tell me? But anyway, you guys. I am going to. I'm editing the vlog as we go. I am even. Uh, we haven't lost any footage, so I'm happy about that. I am going to go fetch Milani now. I promise you guys we'll watch this vlog tonight, Monday night. Monday, you're going to watch this vlog. I'm going to go fetch Milani and I don't know if I'm going to close it. Okay, let me, let me do my little speech. No, I'm not going to close it because now I'm going to come back. I'm going to bath. No, I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna close it. Sorry. Because literally, I'm thinking when I come back, we're gonna bath and then eat and then sleep. You guys have seen that before. You've seen it on my evening routines, night routines. That's okay. Anyway, so let me close this vlog. Let me put this camera in a better angle so that I look better. Let's see. Is this better? I don't know. But anyway, you guys, once again, I apologize that there was no weekend vlog today. Guys, since we started this channel in 2021, since we started vlogs, when did we start vlogs? Yeah, we started vlogs in the same year we started this channel. We started vlogs, I think, about six months after we started the channel. Since we started the vlogs, I think my first vlog was in June 2021. June, yes, June 2021, my first vlog. Um, since we started the vlogs in June 2021, I've never missed a Monday, ever. You can go back, if we can bet a thousand rand, maybe not a thousand rand, maybe a hundred rand. We can bet a hundred rand. I've never missed a Monday. It has been tradition since we started here and I appreciate, I realized yesterday that it's not just a tradition for me, it's a tradition for you guys because all the comments, you guys were just as heartbroken and sad as I was. And sad girls unite, hey, but you're not going to be sad anymore. I am sad, up, oh, I'm not going to be sad anymore, but I'm still sad up on my vlog. But it's fine. Um, I hope this one kind of makes it up. I hope it gives you, it gave you a glimpse of what my weekend looked like. My weekend was actually nice and wholesome and fun. Um, 
what irritates me is that I could have shot this and still uploaded it this week and give you guys two vlogs a week like I tried to do. But man, Jake, because I'm shooting today to make up for the weekend, I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to give you another vlog this week. You know, but I'm going to try my best. Maybe we'll shoot. Yes, yes, yes. I think I said I'll shoot on Wednesday um, for the campaign. And maybe I'll post it then on Thursday or Friday. You guys will still get two vlogs this week. I appreciate your support so, so much. And I hope that you enjoyed this makeshift weekend vlog. I hope that you... I'm still going to say I hope that you had an amazing week. I wish you a productive weekend. No! I hope you had an amazing weekend. I wish you a productive week. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Sometimes I